Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. This is episode 6. Last time we engaged in part 2 of setting up for the heist. We did the information beforehand and now we needed to go to Militech and also to Maelstrom to get ourselves a bot. And now we're performing the heist. So we're in a lovely hotel. We're gonna book ourselves in. We are arms dealers in disguise. And I'm very much looking forward to how this one will go. Arasaka Academy, best of the best or best for the best. I believe we have read this already in another location. I think the good thing about the shards, if you have read them before and you pick up a new one, they won't show up uh, in your list as, as unread. Yeah, so Arasaka Academy, we've read it. It's already grayed out. So. At least if you can't remember if you've read something or not, you can just take it and you can read it later. So we shouldn't have uh, situations where we end up repeating shards. There's just a lot of the same ones to find out in the world, so... Make sure to pick them all up, regardless. Just so we can clear them out. Let's follow Jackie, because we've got a heist to perform. What do you think, Hannah? Hmm? Quaint. Cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. One and only. What? How are taking this seriously? <laughs> That's fun. It's like, come on, bud. You don't need to oversell the the disguise. <laughs> right there. We have a drink over here. Oh, I think that's where we're going. Stop in for a drink. I am certain. I Bar don't look too shabby. The top of the line door. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekdays, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. Wouldn't hurt to take a peek inside. Shit. Looks like some fucking traveling salesman with this case. Going upstairs. All right, well, Jackie's going up. He doesn't want to stop for a drink. I'll take a look around. Check out the hotel bar. Let's have a look. Let's see what kind of people we're playing with. A private jet from Seattle. Chic. Very. And appreciated even more. It must have cost a pretty any. You are worth the price. How do Everyone, you does anyone in my city? Marvelous. It's fallen asleep at his phone. Put something in my drink. Even your ex confirmed. You welcome. Did you put something in my drink? That's why I feel so... So, um... <laughs> that is just the beginning. In a short while, all sensations will be ten times stronger. Am I intruding? Pain. Am I intruding on something? Pain? <laughs> you said... I'd like to try something different today. Is that okay with you? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Good. In that case, be at the room in 15 minutes. Cover the mirrors and camera. Damn. I think uh, something I really appreciate about the NPCs is their conversations are like quite fleshed out and then they actually they don't just stand there like they actually will move away and do stuff like the people that came up to that prophet dude and was like take a photo of him. I think that's like quite fun. A Bosch, a Manet, two Basquiat miniatures, nothing but classics. All sucked out into the empty void of space through a hole in the station's body. Bloody hell. What'll become of the gallery? Bloody hell. Oh, but it was all planned. The focus of the whole opening. Oh, wait, wait. Allow me to venture a guess. A new Abramovsky? Mm-hmm. Untitled number three. It's a reckoning with... Oh, I can't remember. God, I think. Sounds ambitious. How much did it cost? The gratitude of an artist of his stature is worth more. Damn. They threw out a bunch of classic artworks to make room for Untitled Number 3. It was all part of the plan. And when I say heads are gonna roll, I don't mean it as a fucking turn of phrase. Had enough, guy? Don't you think? Making the other customers uncomfortable. Good, because this affects them too. It'll slap everyone in the face. 
What's gonna slap everyone? You wanna know what a bearer of bad news looks like? What's 400 yards long, weighs 100,000 tons, and is nuclear powered? The answer's docked in the bay. Hanako Arasaka decided, <gasps> decided to take a little vacation. Keep it down. Emperor's daughter you're talking about. Sponging up booze in a bar and mouthing off for everyone to hear. I think that's a good idea. Keep it up. Sure it'll work out great for you. Shit. <laughs> you could be right. Walk away. Do it while you still can. Know what? Gonna go and do just that. I really enjoy the corpo dialogue options. <laughs> like, mate, shut your mouth. Evening. Evening. What can I get you, baby? <laughs> baby? Baby. How about your name first? Want to make sure your supervisor hears about this. Whatever made you think I work here? Mm, you're standing in front of me. Mm, you got any idea who owns Kempeki Plaza? No. Strangest thing. Nobody knows. It's like they're a ghost. But whoever it is, they like to keep things bright, shining, and sparkling here. Maybe, just maybe, they're so concerned about the quality of service, they sometimes moonlight as the bartender. Uh-huh. Why would they do that? Don't know. To keep a proprietor's eye on things. Maybe rake in some tips. <laughs> Fucking dude. It's like, yeah, I'm playing undercover boss right now. You better... Better just like chill out. Nah, you're full of shit. Well, that'd make two of us now, wouldn't it? Uh. Can I get you something? At the least. Water? Let's see what you got. Of course. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, what do we want? Let's take a look at this. Can I wish we could close up view all of the, the details to see. What are we what are we drinking today? We got absinthe. Yeah, that was classic. It's cool that you get to see obviously when you drink, you're going to lose some stats. Sometimes only a king can satisfy. All of the flavor text is quite nice. We've bottled the heat of the desert sun, perfect for drowning sorrows, fears, and an uninteresting past. Chateau de Lynn twenty twelve. Rosef Lager, Rosef Ale Bolshevik Vodka. Tequila with no equal. I feel like we have to be consistent, right? Apparently V said uh, tequila is about the only thing that we drink. Oh, dick and whiskey. Yeah, I've got some sake. We'll grab a tequila. Do I get to... Do I get to just drink it? Right in front of the guy. Capacity booster. Oh, plus 50% carrying capacity for 1800 seconds. That's cool. Didn't even realize I had that. I want to like have a cinematic drink. Can I place it on the bar and then drink it? I guess I have to go and do it in the inventory. I have to do it the, the boring way, right? So I go backpack. And I go into my... Um, here. And I just use it. Ah, oh, that's so boring. <laughs> Yum, the effects of alcohol in a menu. Cool if he could, like, pour me the drink. What the fuck? That's Kojima. That's Kojima, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? After means comedy, horror means fear, and romance means love. Okay. There is more to capturing emotions than that, which is what my research team in Tokyo is currently working toward achieving. Dude's developing brain dances in cyberpunk. He won his Kojima Productions. What the fuck? I like recognize his face immediately. What the fuck? Dude. Ushima. We can talk to him. Apologies, I simply do not have time for this now. 
I love that you're actually able to talk to him though, specifically. So let me just get in here. <laughs> Dude. Incredible. He doesn't have a Kojima Productions logo on his shirt. They probably can't do that. They, are, they would have had to be like, hey, do you want to be in the game? No, 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 no. So casual too. Like, you have to specifically go into that bar. This is why I benefit from taking my time to look around everywhere. I get rewarded with Kojima. Brain dancers would be right up his alley too. <laughs> About time. Think about all of the solo sneaking missions. Hey, buddy. I think the worst thing that could happen here is like running into someone from your corpo past, right? What, huh? Because they'd be like, hey, V, long time no see. You know? That's the only problem with a, with a corpo past complicate things. Every time an NPC walks through an NPC, we're just going to blink. Tell me it's it. <laughs> Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Bug. Huh. Didn't pick it for snaz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough? Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Flathead prep to go. Almost there, Chica. Uh, pretty sure this is the same that we read before. Yep. Downstairs. This is cool. We got a smaller version of this that we saw outside. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? Oh, sick. Ah. Turn the sprinkler up. Systems are operational. Charge it 100. Change the radio. Mierda. Little gonk stock. Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. V, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm gonna drive it. Why me? Why do I gotta slot it in? Unlike someone, I haven't run on my tab with Vic. Got last-gen firmware. No flow. Just do it, Chica. Ain't got all day. Surveillance cover the whole hotel. Mm-hmm. Even the bedrooms in the suites. Guests don't care. You'd be surprised what people are willing to give up to feel secure. Lucky for us, your Nobu is an exception. Penthouse is dark, no hotel security. We go. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in-cam view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Hello. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their home. Get oh, right. So I'm in the CCTV. Arasaka yeah, will cool. cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? Scan for people it. start saying I've lost control of Watson. The district I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise. Oh, it's got cloaking. How cool. Yeah, right? And I remember that. that. So, I can promise you. see it in action. This is awesome. Cyber heist. Is there a dude next to... Oh, yeah, he's at the vent. There you go. In he goes. <laughs> okay, flathead's in. Patching you into next cam now. What makes you 
He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who finds him. Note inside said, sorry for the mess. There was blood everywhere. But at least he left his tip. Am I the only no one bug. who just gets puked in a used condo? What now? Where's the damn justice? In my way. Okay, gotta distract her. Uh, let's see what's on the subnet. All right, on it. Think he's single? Who? So, you know, good looking, filthy rich. Has that noise? What would you say to a TV? I'd say keep looking. I mean, you're a noble Arasaka. Like Terrarium's got a single. temp and air quality control. Might wear expensive suits, Great, but yeah. a biker at heart, the on always it. itching for a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a ride and wipe him out. Huh? Honey, stick to wiping that glass, huh? They're leaving streaks everywhere. Flat head compatible. Yeah. Come quiet for the soul. Something's up with a tank. Hey, Bug, it worked. <laughs> Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpacking. Yeah, buddy. I love how they're like, there's some trouble with the unit, and then they just stand and stare at it instead of going to the cooling unit. Maybe they don't know it's there. Okay. Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. In A. This is not compatible. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah, look around for a CCTV port. Jackie. Okay, he's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. Ooh, I can neutralize him with my points. Okay. That's cool. Flathead ought to be able to neutralize him. Good thinking. Let me graft a demonoid onto your link. And you know you gotta jack the flathead directly into his chair, right? Make it sound like I'm new at this. Okay, sent. He's all yours. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. I'm smart. Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second camp. I like this subtle music, too. Flathead into the chair, B. Jack in. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, got him. Love those demons. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Compeki's main net. You uh, go ahead and log out. T bug logo. She got her own logo. Así es como se hace. What's going on with my visuals? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug. Okay. How you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. All right. Sit. Level up first. 
Um, perk point. Um, let's chuck another one into, I think we unlock this second level of reflexes once we get to nine. I think it's just the same for all of them. Let's go for, we're going to upgrade to the next level. So now you need 15. So stamina cost for shooting with assault rifles and SMGs. We've got less stamina cost for dodging and dashing. We actually unlock the ability to dash at level two and stamina cost for attacking with blades. I'm going to really enjoy blades. Unlocks the ability to block incoming projectiles with blades. Hell yes. He's the ones that are linked are really fun too. Oh, this is interesting. So steady, steady grip allows you to shoot while dashing because we only have allowing to shoot while sprinting, sliding and vaulting. So during the dash is a separate one. All right, let's get that. Dash level one. So at the moment we've just got can't dash in this suit. <laughs> right, set our butt down. Oh, cool. A few hours what later. Think? Why'd he give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking's all. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Set it yourself. You can kick the rat out of the corp. But you'll never kick the corp out of the rat. Probably just got bored. All one percenters do sooner or later. <laughs> Fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Okay. Hey, Bug. Where, uh, were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh, about that stick up the ass. Mean the one up mine? Uh, slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. This is going pretty smooth, right? Right? <laughs> Man, are you the silver lining type? Hey, when are you gonna wave off that dark cloud hanging over your head? I'm telling you, it's downhill from here on in. Apparently we're supposed to be meeting someone for an arms deal as well, so I wonder if that's raised any questions of us not doing that. Uh, there's the awkward silence. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay, so why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Got his smile. What a gem. Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Sure is shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Guys, Raul. focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sig on your Nobu's gone dark. Oh shit. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have him back in a sec. And you do your damn job. Oh, it's just stressed. Okay. Um. Grab that. There's, we'll pick up the, the shards too, I suppose. And money. Apparently there's supposed to be a gun, remember? There was a gun here. There it is. Yeah. Looks like your Nobu left us a parting gift. That looks fun. Ain't much, but it'll have to do. The relic, why all the fuss? I feel like this is, because we had something on the relic in our apartment, which is pretty crazy. The timing of that is really um, that would be, or if I felt like it would be an article. It was something we read about the relic. I just want to make sure. I 
I guess it's also in order of when we pick the stuff up, which is kind of nice too. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't pick... No, I, I definitely picked it up. Because I read it as... Female V. Maybe not. Uh, let's read the relic. No, we definitely read this. Yeah, we definitely read this in our uh, in our own apartment. Oh god, it's moody. Love seeing the rain on the, on the glass like that. T bugs like, hurry up, and I'm like, I'm gonna look around if you don't mind. Hurry up, V. No, I must look. What really happened in Arasaka Tower? If Militech was behind the assault on Arasaka Tower in 2023 and there's actual evidence to support that, then why didn't Arasaka return the favor and nuke Militech? By now there's no doubt the bomb was manufactured by Militech, but that doesn't mean they detonated it. I confess I'm not a huge fan of the popular theory that Johnny Silverhand, the controversial rocker boy, was behind the whole thing. In fact, I'm not really a Silverhand fan, period. Silverhand was a poser and a blowhard, not someone who would actually follow through on his grandiose bluffs. Full disclosure, I just don't think Silverhand would have the balls to pull something like that. That's the name of that drink that we had in the afterlife, right? Let's think this through. Who hates corporations the most? Nomads, obviously. Remember that mass market BD called Badlands Raid from the 20s about a band of nomads who attack a military convoy? Well, guess when it premiered? That's right, on the night of the attack. Coincidence? I think not. Yes, yes, there's a Silverhand cameo in there somewhere, but that's just a marketing ploy. A BD scrolled by a bunch of cactus huggers wouldn't sell for an any without a recognizable face, but I'm more intrigued by the main actress. How is it she didn't star in any other production despite Badlands Raid's huge sales? Who was she during the attack? That's interesting. So... Yeah, you can edit people into BDs that weren't there as like a cameo, apparently, like a marketing. And we read a different shot about the day the tower fell. So that's like some pretty significant event in the lore. There, under the floor. Look around for a switch. Flowers of Silence, a biography of Hanako Arasaka. T-Bug has got time for us to read, right? <clears throat> if I had written this biography on the basis of publicly av available material, there would be two sides of this story, not to mention the forward, afterward, and the acknowledgements. Everyone knows that Hanako Arasaka is a very private individual. Everyone has heard about the tragic death of the last reporter who attempted to pen her life story. Ten shots to the back. Suicide, according to the police. That's why, when my publisher asked me to write this book, I had to politely decline. That's when I saw the advance they were offering me, I started to reconsider. Finally, when I discovered that Arasaka's PR department had given its stamp of approval to interview numerous members of Hanako's entourage, I was on the next flight to Tokyo. Soon enough, however, I lost my original enthusiasm. People Arasaka sent me to be interviewed repeated the same answers to all questions, clearly memorized by heart. After a month's worth of research, all I had was, Hanako Arasaka is the daughter of Saburo Arasaka from his third wife, Mihiko. She was born in 1999 in Tokyo and has only left the city five times in her life cloistered lifestyle, she never fulfilled any important role in the family business. She is very close to Yoronobu Arasaka, the black sheep in the family. I was ready to give up when the art in the uh, la, 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 la. I was ready to give up when in the archives of a local TV station I found a recording of the opening of an Arasaka branch in Fukuoka. Fuku sorry. Fuku Fukuoka. I can read, guys. Raised by the presence of none other than Hanako herself, Fukuoka. She played the piano the Bussies, Reverie. Bussy. Why that piece? Why play a dreamy, introspective song while surrounded by stoic Japanese businessmen? Her golden fingers caressed the keys. I was mesmerized. Tears rolled down the cheeks as I listened. That's when I knew I had to finish this book. I had to meet this enigmatic woman and find out who Hanako Arasaka really was. People's names that haven't aged well in modern lingo. Debussy. <laughs> And I suppose these are the shards that the game wants us to read because they were highlighted as sort of actual objectives when we entered the apartment. So they all seem to have a level of importance for their world building.
Let's take a look up here. If there's anything else? I don't know what we can. Uh... Hurry up! Your renewable could be back any second. Oh, you worry too much. Oh, that's that's straight up outside. Can we break any glass? <laughs> you worry too much, Jackie. Second. All right, here we go. Let's run around this place. It's tied to this. Bingo! Got something ejecting. Come here, V. What now? Jack in your personal and make us rich. On it. Waiting for like a security. Your turn, bug. Give me two. That's taking time. Oh shit, that's taking time. We got winged visitors. Bug. Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Okay. See, I like this. This is not good. How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Oh. Done. Cream. Pull it out, let's go. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bio shard integrity, 100%. Oh yeah, it's gotta stay cold. Yes. We gotta hurry up let's then. Alright. It's gotta stay cold. Fuck, too late. Your noble's about to walk in. Find cover. Where? Fat pillar, try that. Are you fucking kidding? No. Inside it now. You can get inside it? Oh. But it's hot in here, right? Because these are the servers. The fucking Where is case needs to say Which stay cold. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Oh my god. Is that I thought I don't smash her. Bodyguard. Wars. Night City legend. Bleak motherfucking one too. Shh. What's the play? We Fuck. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad? Fuck are they talking about? Bucko, we got incoming. Nuh-uh. No fucking way. This isn't happening. Saburo Arasaka. The Emperor. Yet another ass licking legend. Shh. Now this could be soundproof. Um, this is great timing. Alright, at least everyone's moving for this. They don't know that we're here. I thought everyone knew that we were here. Oh, fuck. Shh. Arasaka-sama. まだ。We're just being scanned though. Holy fuck. Look at that guy. Close. Too close. If he just sniffed us out. But he didn't. No guy at there. He has a missile launcher on his shoulder. Not fucking believable. Saburo Arasaka. Watashiが気づかないとでも思ったのか。そもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろう。あんたの問題点はそこだ。世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる。傲慢だよ。よりのぶ。どうしてここへ。直々に俺に屈辱を合わせ。立場を思い知らせるためにか。出る杭は打たれるとよく言うだろう。自分の言葉じゃ何も言えないのか。貴様こそ自分が何をしようとしたかわかっ
俺たちなんかの間違いだろあんたは自分のことしか考えてないそしてこの会社のことしか《いつかこのような日が来ることは分かっていた貴様はついに越えてはならない一線を越えたのだこれまでお前の愚行には目をつぶってきただがそれもここまでだこの裏切りだけは決して許せぬ貴様の母親が生きていなくてよかった》息子の不甲斐ない姿を目の当たりにして心を痛めずに済んだのだからな惜しいこれでもう誰のことも許す必要はない Shit. I thought he'd have some kind of security fail safe. If, he, if his life was in danger, he'd like have some protection because he's old and frail, but not.、Nah. Fuck. Alright, so when do we leave? Because this is awkward as hell. Music, though. I wish. I wish to put the hotel on lockdown. May I ask why? Saburo Arasaka has been murdered. Code Red initiated. Attention. Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. How's he gonna spin that then? Out of here now. Give me a sec. We don't have a sec. Fuck. Okay, got something. Window down. Saburo fucking Arasaka's dead. It's weird to even say it. Hey. Releasing the lock. Should see a ladder. Ladder. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 not now. I've been made. <laughs> Bug! Oh, fuck. Because of the lockdown? Just lost the tuck. Fuck. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking major leagues. Happy now, Jackie. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, okay. Fuck. Jackie. Just don't look down. <laughs> yep. That's fucking high. Oh, my dude. Sliding. They're here for Saburo. They're a little late. Sliding down、um, here is definitely going to happen. <laughs> It's look at how this is positioned. Oh, fuck. Shimmying across with that briefcase. Oh, my God. With nothing to hold on to. Ow. Um. 
Okay. We're gonna get framed for the oh, Emperor's oh. murder. Close one. The relic! Madres! Oh, oh this ain't good! Mm. Jackie, you're bleeding! Worry about me later. Get the relic! Container depressurized! Biochip integrity at 94%! You're fucking dropping. Carajo! Parker! Call her! And tell her we fried the case? Just do it! Oh god, that's a terrifying image. What the fuck's going on there? Got a problem. Cryo case is damaged. Biochip integrity is it. Jackie? 86%? 86% and drop it. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. What the hell are you talking about? The relic can't be isolated. It has to be nested in a safe environment. Well, someone's got to do it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of Santo. Amen. Jackie, you okay? Oh, no, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once you're back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it! Dell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We gotta somehow. Oh, okay, hang on. I think. Interesting. Wait a second. So, the relic. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, I'm just going to... This will only happen in this mission because this is all that I've seen from, like, the, the 2019 trailer, right? Is... You see them get into the Delamain cab. Jackie's bleeding out. He's been shot to shit. And Jackie dies in the trailer. And this is why I'm like, I'm kind of hoping that this plays out differently because I have this in my mind from the trailer of like how that sort of story, going to the Notel Motel, all that stuff. But Jackie's just put the relic inside of his mind. And if it's just been sitting tight in this briefcase... I feel like Jackie putting it inside of him, maybe because he's like the first person to use it, it'll like copy him to the shard and then we'll be able to bring Jackie back somehow. That's my, that's my theory. As soon as he put the shard in, I'm like, oh, wait, hang on. It's like a fucking allows human minds to be copied onto shards. So you can, allowing the user to hear and see digitized personality constructs so that you could, like, keep Jackie alive somehow. Through the relic, maybe? Because right. he, he's had to use it. Only chance to hit the garage. And that's if it plays out how it does in the trailer, which I'm still hoping it doesn't. But, like, that was my, that was my first thought. As soon as he put the relic inside of him. Holy shit, though. But now I now I understand why in that trailer we were all over the news, right? Because we're special forces. Because we're in this sort of situation. In the lobby now. We're gonna sweep the building, all floors. I do not have a silencer on this. I got a knife though. Hang on, do I gotta equip it? <laughs> you better catch these hands. Throne hits apply bleeding. If the enemy is already affected by bleeding from Satori, Nahan will cause hemorrhaging instead. Hemorrhaging drains enemy health and regenerates yours. Is there a... Is there a second knife? 
because it says if the enemy is already affected by bleeding from Satori, and then Nehan will cause hemorrhaging instead. So there's like another knife called Satori. I got a knife. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's cool. Do the little knife trick. I'm like, oh, I can throw it. And then I'm assuming I can like throw it and pick it back up again. That's so sick. It's more silent than a gun without a silencer. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's that woman, the Militech woman. I don't like it. Attention. Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. Hey. Anyone else catch that? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck. It was supposed to be silent. You weren't supposed to hear it. You bastard. Get punched. Goddamn. Can I get the knife back? Is that just a one-time use? No way. Give me my knife back. What? Wait. Oh no, there it is. I still have my knife. So you can throw it. And then... Oh, you just have to run over it. Oh, that's so cool. So you just can throw it and you can pick it up again immediately. Fuck yeah. for technical evaluation, the miners were able Attention. Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please join me. What's this do? Okay, so... Ah, I now see. So you can do these. So you can extract quick hacks and quick hack crafting specs. Extract Euro Dollars and Crafting Components. Okay, so we want to do 55 1C55 55 to get the most out of this. So if we go 55 1C55. Oh, and then we can do another one. So it's either another 55 or E9. This. Ooh, so you can get multiple in one. Okay. Right, so look out for that stuff. They got 18 tier 2 quick hack components. About to become like very throwing knifey. That's so fun. Yokai, Japanese demons of yesterday and today. They make their homes on mountaintops, in rivers and oceans, on city streets, and on every mega building floor with the number four in it, even in your washing machine or info visor. Some appear in concrete places, while others simply haunt a specific person. They're there when you hear a strange noise in the middle of the desert. They're there when you feel like someone's watching you. Although there's not a soul in sight, they're there when you glimpse something out of the corner of your eye, something nobody else seems to notice, but you were just at the Ripper Docks for your checkup. The Yokai first appear in Japanese literature in the year 797. These mysterious beings, though closely linked to the invisible realm of the dead, have been alive in the Japanese consciousness from the very birth of animism. It's not that the Japanese believe in the Yokai, they simply know the Yokai exist. In addition to phantoms, ogres, and other mysterious phenomena, the Yokai also include a group of shape-shifting demons called Obake or Bakamono. Bakamono, sorry. The Bakamono are said to sometimes take the form of a faceless person, a one-eyed scarecrow, or an, or an animal. It's said when a cat reaches a certain age, it becomes a Bakaneko. Bakaneko. Yeah. These Yokai are able to walk on their two hind legs, speak, dance, assume human form, or even devour their owners and take their place. The Bakaneko sometimes visit people in their sleep, or even wake the dead. All they have to do is hop over a corpse to bring it suddenly back to life. However, the demons are capable of much, much more. One should exercise extreme caution around a double-tailed cat. This is a necromata, a yokai with shamanic and necromatic, necromantic capabilities, able to place curses on people and control the dead. In its human form, a necromata resembles an old woman, often one addicted to some substance or other with, and with an eerie, disturbing air about her. 
However, let me assure American readers of this book today, the most likely place you'll find a buck and Neko is in the form of Lucky Maniki Neko figurines. After all, real cats are even rarer sights these days than your average yokai. Love that. Uh, I love reading yokai stuff. I have like multiple books on it and I've got like a tattoo on my leg of like one as well. That's, that's, uh, that's a cool read. All right, let's proceed. Give me my knife back, you bitch. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> Might be a little too crazy with my knife. <laughs> Dude. We're about to become the throwing knife king. Uh, holy shit, dude. Attention. Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Oh, that's fun, dude. In your rooms Get the headshot and it's a uh, one and done, baby. Just need to be a little more stealthy with it. So I can uh, not trigger them. And then I need to remember to crouch. We gotta plow through them! Uh, this is wrong place, wrong time, wrong everything. This is so fucking bad that it's like, hey, this guy's been murdered. And who's running away with our relic? You're only making it worse for yourself. Come out. Hey. Guys are fucking armored. Ain't nowhere to hide, so just come out. Can we even get these dudes in the head. <laughs> yes, you can. Up, we'll read these later. I just want to know if you can, like, can you kill without having to grab them first? Oh, backbreaker. Oh, uh, uh, hey, are we are we stealthing? <clears throat> so, can I teach you a lesson in stealth? Is we're not yelling, okay? First things first, no yelling, please. Code red has been initiated throughout I love seeing the amount of damage you're gonna do to someone um, before you're done. So when you're stealthing. An advantage. Where are they hiding from? Yeah, I keep hiding from the camera. Hello? Where are you? Oh god, I jumped. I didn't mean to jump. So stupid. Then we get to hear the cool music. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Not good. <laughs> Oh, there's people over there too. Right, I gotta use a gun. Staff. What's this? Tier 
three item components. Some fancy shit. interact with securing floor by floor still nothing same here shut the elevator down just in case keep looking i've got this elevator's being watched too jackie Can I take them out jackie yeah. no threat detected something else to get attention. That'll do. I'll piss on your grave when this is over. Still nothing. <laughs> oh, find him, damn it. Yes, sir. I've got this. So many compecky plazas. Hello? Where are you? Oh shit, I got up. I didn't mean to stand up. What? Oh, the de delayed damage because it went through glass. Wild. That's crazy. It makes so much sense. So you can throw through glass, but it'll do less damage, of course. That's just insanely satisfying though. This knife is so cool. Get in here, bud. <laughs> Stressed. What? Saburo Arasaka. 150 years. And today. Of all fucking days. Best like some divine comedy shit. <laughs> Save your strength, Jackie. What do you think I'm doing? But she'll be. We'll get out alive. Debug's been compromised. Why? Because you fucking say so? Don't. Take this out on me. I can see how the chips are falling. Jesus, man. Are right, you ready? In combat, apparently. <laughs> do anything about this? Oh, I was wondering if I could uh, make something cool happen. Right, just look out for cool things to hack and get stuff from. Don't get my knife back when it when it's not a one hit kill. I feel like. Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting or I'm shooting all right. Oh damn! Kill or be. 
good one. Ah. Ow. You're not supposed to know that I'm here. Shit. Oh fuck. Oh! Oh shit! We got the Ed 209. Holy fuck. How are we take I don't have any grenades on me. How are we taking this bad boy out? Oh, we can get critical. Shoot the weak points. Oh my dear lord. Okay. Quick, get some alcohol and throw douse it with alcohol and then shh, blow it up. Flammable. I wonder if it's got a weak point on the back. Right, it knows exactly where I am this whole time. It's pretty fast. Just focus fire on Jackie, not me. Okay, fuck. There you go. Oh, we destroyed a part and it did a shitload of damage. There you go. Took off one of the guns. Nice! Okay. That actually works better than I thought it would. Oh, is it gonna blow, blow up? Okay, it just sounded like it was gonna blow up. Can I loot it for anything? No. Nice work, Jackie. Fuck out of here. Damn. Uh, Yorinobu literally has the perfect cover for what he did now. Come on, buddy. Get in here, bud. Get in here, buddy. Come on. Got this. Oh, dude, this is not good. Fuck. I'm leaking a little. Oh, activated combat mode. Delamain, got it. Oh fuck. Delamain, you leave your problem at the door. What? Smart weapons require a smart link to unlock the full potential of their targeting systems. Okay. Problems if you don't fucking try. Not what? bad. Client feedback noted. <laughs> How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Sweet fucking Jesus! Oh, oh shit! Roadblock ahead. I can't ah! Roadblock ahead. Look at that fucking thing. Whoa, okay. We get to see the combat mode in action. Leave it to me. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who can? Oh gee. Ah. Who cares about Delamain's combat mode when I've got a pistol? Oh shit, dude. What the fuck? Oh my lord. Delamain, don't you have a combat mode? What the fuck? Why am I doing this? Do you have like a turret or something? That looks like combat mode stuff to me. Look. You got missiles or something, bud? Yeah, no thanks to me, bud. Jesus. Uh, that was me. Oh. God, that's the fucking worst moment to open a perk menu. Excuse me, I'm in dialogue right now. Okay, why does it... Why is pressing down opening my menu? I'm in dialogue. You're white as a ghost, Jack. See? I told you we'd make it. Jesus Christ. My medical diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Take us to a ripper dock now! Apologies, but that will not be possible. Fuck. The has been prearranged and paid for in advance. I am not at liberty to alter it. Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! It's okay, V. <laughs> Hold out. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be all right. You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. Jackie, don't close your eyes. <laughs> Misty, I know. She always knew. 
this so much better obviously compared to the trailer the trailer you're a bit rushed for time <sighs> I was hoping that we could avoid that <laughs> I love Jackie we don't get enough of him he's just like a short little intro companion kind of you're friends with him you have a six month montage with him and then you do a couple of well, missions and it's done where shall I take his remains Oh, man. What? The Excelsior package provides for the disposal of passenger yeah. remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. Oh, wow. Um, shit. He'd want to be with his family. Mr. Wells's closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshawn awaits you in room number 204. See you in the major leagues, Jack. Fucking hell. <sighs> I was really hoping the trailer would have been a misdirect and we could have avoided that. Doesn't look like that was possible. I feel like we're gonna... I feel like Jackie's been saved to the relic, though. So he'll still, like, be with us, maybe. Right? Right? How do you how do you create a character like that that's so, like, lovable and just throw him away immediately? Like, oh, dude. That's so fucked. I hate that. You know what I love though, is apparently there are just random ATM machines that you can drop shit into and get paid exceptional amount of coin. Holy crap. Um, I'm just gonna sell anything that's kind of like duplicates. Um, and then I'm gonna be able to pay, um, I'm gonna be able to pay back Vic after all of this is, uh, after all of this is done. I guess anything that's like the white tier I can get rid of and keep the green and above sort of like have one of each. Chaos. Damn, I am very upset. Jackie like has such a incredible presence in, in the game for just such an like only an introductory like character to the whole thing. As soon as you're doing the Dexter Destroyed mission and you've seen the trailer, you're like, okay, I really hope that this doesn't like go the way I think it's gonna go. And it does. Now I'm upset. <laughs> All right, we're getting into the no tell motel. 204. Excuse you. All right. Oh, we can see a we can see some good information in here about stuff. Oh fuck, this is written by Jackie. There's only one door you gotta open in Night City, and that's the door to the afterlife. Once you cross into that world, peeps will step aside for you everywhere. Dex couldn't have chosen a better place to pre-game before the heist, am I right? Afterlife's a sign for us, Chica. Saburo Arasaka murdered by his own son. 
and in front of our goddamn eyes. You know what, V? Forget what I said about getting into the afterlife. First, we need to find a way to get the fuck out of this shitstorm before Arasaka Spec Ops jumps down our throat. So that's how it ends, at least for me, in the backseat of a limo with hot corporate lead wedged in my gut. You know, all things considered, that ain't a half bad way for a Wells to go. Most sons of Haywood tap out without all those fireworks. But what can I say? Night City's chewed up names way bigger than mine before. Not you, though. You still got work to do. Cut a fat deal, ha, <laughs> with Dex in my honor. And don't piss it all the way in vain or I'll be rolling in my grave until I hit the East Coast. I won't give you a minute of goddamn peace, Chica. This is the last favor we owe ourselves. Damn. Wrote that. Relic is an interface and component of Arasaka's experimental flagship project, publicly known as Secure Your Soul. It uses the concept of personality transferal by converting the data in the human nervous system into a digitized engram and stored as a construct on the Relic biochip. The purpose of Secure Your Soul is the ability, currently only available to the wealthiest clients, to communicate with deceased loved ones. Personality constructs which are preserved on the Relic biochip mean that in practice, death is no longer the ultimate barrier. However, it doesn't take a genius to realize that the potential for the Relic technology is much higher. Arasaka currently is not sharing any information on its further plans for the program. Yeah, I feel like Jackie's on the chip and he'll be like with us while we have the chip in there, maybe. Like he'll and then we could like find him a body. We'd, like put the chip in there. Bring bring the Jackie AI back to back to life. Right? Arasaka Corporation is the longest operating megacorp in the world. Its origins date back to the mid-20th century when a young Saburi Arasaka inherited his father's nascent company transforming it into a global leader in security. Today, the Arasaka Corporation is known as an arms manufacturing giant that has had its hands in military conflicts across all continents. Due to the latest advances in technology and the company's seemingly unlimited capital, Arasaka is poised to achieve its political goals on a massive scale. Arasaka's soldiers and agents are known not only for their excellent training, but also for their steadfast loyalty to corporate values and CEO Sabura Arasaka himself, who despite his advance, advancing age, continues to govern the corporation with an iron fist. Even discussions of a succession plan must be kept to a whisper, because no one would dare openly question the authority of the world's greatest weapons empire, almost no one. Saburo Arasaka is the CEO of the Arasaka Corporation. After elevating his father's Japanese company out of relative obscurity to become a global powerhouse, Saburo was now widely regarded as the founder of the Arasaka Empire. This former Japanese Imperial Navy pilot transformed into the ruthless businessman who uh, used to stand at the helm of the world's largest arms manufacturer. He was a man who, for decades, has been, had been rumored to be able to force even the most cold-blooded assassins to commit suicide at his command, which may say as much about his virtually absolute rule as it does his extraordinarily prolonged lifespan. Damn. So, uh, Yorinobu stole the relic from Saburo and was going to sell it off, and he came to get it back. And he definitely didn't expect his own son to kill him. That's very, uh, very, uh, like, tropey. You've got, like, the, the neglected son who's, like, kind of off doing his own thing, the ugly duckling, and he, he has his reconciliation moment with his father and his father like thinks he's this superimposed figure of uh invincible authority and the kid is like nah <laughs> and kills his own father jesus man all right that was some good stuff to to read that's heartbreaking having jackie write that uh, that journal entry the part he defended began to suffer more and more losses until they eventually had I just think that's ridiculous to have that in such a massive trailer, right? I was quite convinced that it would be a, a misdirect. Because I was like, there's no way that they just introduce a character in a trailer crucial to your introduction to the game and then go, oh, oops, it's dead now. Like, while there's part of me that wishes I never saw that trailer, you never expect them to do something like that. This is why going into blind playthroughs usually I look to have no trailers whatsoever. It was in 1990 when Arasaka Corp first emerged on the global 500 list. Then in 1996, after the collapse. 
see how this plays out. We don't have uh, we don't have blade arms like the trailer did, so this will clearly go differently. <laughs> He waiting. Oh yeah, there's no T bug, obviously, because she got compromised. Even the pirate networks. She didn't make it out. Up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car. Yeah, he's there. Dead. Condolences, friend. And the relic. Ha, huh, interesting. Got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! Gotta leave Night City. You don't say. Ring Evelyn. We close the deal, collect our cut, and drop off the radar. Alright, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. Oh man, it's playing out like so similar, but different. Cause yeah, T Bug's not here. Cause T Bug got compromised. It's didn't, me. Didn't make it out. Yeah, shuttle I booked today. No, can't wait till dawn. One seat. I'll pay the premium. One seat. Spaceport Terminal Four. Got it. He's Dexter's going to space. <laughs> How interesting, right? That Dexter's like this fixer that something happened, something went bad, and he he left town for like two years before coming back. First big job that he does fucks up tremendously and he's got to leave again. Like, that's one hell of a fixer. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, guys. When I come out of this room, we better all be hugging and kissing and uh, nobody punching anybody in the face. Dude. Holy shit. That's a certified Metal Gear Solid 5 moment if I've ever seen one. Waterproof cybernetics. The nose. Can't risk it, V. Remember our first convo? I'll fucking Seems kill you! A quiet life after all. Damn, he's pulling lead. No blaze of glory for me. He never does that. Damn it! Fuck, we didn't even get to shoot him. Brain damage. And there it is, Cyberpunk 2077 title card. And then we're gonna, what, wake up in a junkyard and then Keanu Reeves dives in and says, wake the fuck up, samurai. We got a city to burn. I can't wait for context. <laughs> and then we get to be completely blind because I don't know what comes after that. What the fuck? Interlude. Hey. The hammer. August 20th, 2023. What the fuck? Um, interlude. Okay. Well, I'm going to pause the game now. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't. 
What the fuck? I need to collect my thoughts. Hold on. We're in 2023 now. Oh shit, I just dropped my control. Oh, what, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn it. I played this game a year too late, guys. Uh, I should have started my playthrough. Was it August? August 2023. <laughs> um, okay, let's collect our thoughts. Uh, we're finally past that trailer that was lingering in my mind. Jackie did actually die, which is awful. I was really hoping that he wouldn't, and it was a misdirect. Um, God, that event of all events, we just have to have the relic stolen when Saburo dies, so then we get pinged for the for the murder that gives Yorinobu an out. Dude, Adam Smasher is insane. He's just like diving out of that building. It's like, we have an obstruction in the road, a walking tank. It's crazy. Um, and then, yeah, the deck scene. I'm sad that it doesn't play out with us, like, mutually shooting each other, but it means the deck's still out there. He's just getting a shuttle. We're going to get revenge one day. Uh, now we're in an interlude. Um, I, The fact that... Oh, I can pause the game. I'm like, why can't I pause the game? Uh, I can pause um, and I can save because, like, after that heist, I need a goddamn uh, bathroom break. Huh? Phantom Liberty. Is this when Phantom Liberty starts? Is that what? But it, is that why we're in an interlude? Oh. Maybe this plays out differently if you don't have Phantom Liberty. Or maybe it's because Phantom Liberty is just like the next main quest in my journal. So it's just automatically there. I don't know. Is the interlude like a little Phantom Liberty thing? Maybe I'm having a ridiculously different gameplay experience than people who have like played without Phantom Liberty installed. Okay. I don't even know what any, like what Phantom Liberty is about because I haven't watched any trailers for it. I just know that Idris Elba's in it. That's all that I know about Phantom Liberty. Um, I'm going to take a bathroom break and then we're going to proceed with the interlude. <laughs> All right, let's proceed. Uh, in the interlude... Hey. You all right? Oh. Never been better. I'm sure Keanu Reeves. Like I'm Keanu Reeves. Oh. Keanu Reeves' character is from 2023. How the fuck does that work? fuck does that work? Hey, hey, we're chill. Ah, oh, look, it's me. Oh. Johnny Silverhand. I have a silver hand. Am I? Okay. I'm Johnny Silverhand. And I have groupies. Of course you're high. I'm a legend. Okay. What? fuck does that work? Do you play two different timelines as two different characters? What's up, fellas and ladies and everyone else? I need to learn how to do an all-inclusive greeting. I'm sorry, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome. On stage with a gun. Tonight, I... Yeah, Johnny. Johnny Silverhand. Okay, shit. Hell yeah. I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Hello, goodbye. Love like fire. Can't fuck around with it. Speaking. Uh -huh. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. Nice. What curled up your ass? How much do you want for it? Uh -huh. oh. Okay. That's the that's the origin of the samurai Great. shit. Thirty first of May, New Orleans. 
Runaway Tour 2020. Oh shit. Okay, so the samurai stuff is the band that Johnny Silverhand's in. I'm learning so much in an interlude. Johnny, wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. <laughs> Gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. You're late! What? Oh, what the fuck? Rogue from Afterlife Rogue? Love it when you're mad. Gets my southern blood. Pumping. She looks exactly the same, though. I changed my mind. Okay, that makes sense with uh, what Jackie was saying. Didn't Jackie say something like she's been... She owns the afterlife, she's been there for a long time? What are you waiting for? Dude, the neon jacket, though? What the fuck? Okay. Silverhand! Hey, Shaden! Get us in the air! Here, put this on, and it stays on! Got it? Day the tower fell. Collateral damage part of the plan too. This is the Cub Scouts, Thompson. Chew it up, spit it out. So Silverhand was more than just a marketing ploy cameo. This is actually a thing that happened. We're we're seeing the actual story of the of Arasaka Tower. What the fuck? That's so cool though. Okay. We're going in loud, we're already being shot. The music needs to be louder for this. Alright, let loose with that thing, damn it! Okay, that's what you get for not spraying and paying. Yeah, what the fuck? Let, let me go! I can spray this shit! There you go! You want people to die? Why was that dude being so casual with the with the turret? You want to get kills or not? Let Johnny Silverhand do it. This is a cool way to introduce the character and just fuck. Well, if Rogue still looks damn good for her age, maybe this is uh, gonna be the same for the Silverhand. I mean, it is like cyberpunk after all. You can make yourself look really, really young. Because we were reading about a lot of that technology, right? That people were like, haha, if only she, like, I wait till I tell you that, like, I'm old enough to be her father, right? There's the nuclear bomb. Militech's nuclear bomb. Payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation, tower crumbles, chaos, screaming roll credits. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Follow Spider Murphy. Dude, alright. That would make sense. So it's like introducing... It's grass green. Words. Introducing his character actually being at the day the tower fell. So we're getting an introduction to Silverhand. We see Rogue, so there's connection to the afterlife. That's cool. So then eventually, maybe Rogue will sh introduce us to, like, Silverhand, like, later at some point, And they're both, like, just kicking back, being legends. 
Why? Can't see bats, rats, shit, gnats. Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on. Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. <laughs> Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. <laughs> Come on. He attacked me. Get ready. What way to go? Oh. <laughs> what is this gun? Hey, Woo. Do I have a flamethrower hand? Wait, what? Oh! There's a secondary fire on the pistol that has a flame burst. I thought the flames came out of my arm. Oh, shit, dude. What the fuck? Holy fuck. Oh! I need this gun. Holy crap. I want my V to have this gun. That reload animation is so slick. Alright, down it goes. Two. Bomb's name was what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. The Demolitron. Shaka Elite incoming! Get out of there, Run John. for it! Shoot the cables! Draw, draw weapon. Fire. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Such a delay. Oh, this music. Holy shit. Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about Arasaka. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? Not like you could ever understand, Rook. You're on your own. Giving you four fucking minutes if you want to ride out of here. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. Huh. Get the angle on it. Oh, the music timing. Get it. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Holy shit. Oh, the most satisfying headshots. That's incredible. Ah. Uh. I can't shoot while uh, sliding as Johnny. <laughs> oh man. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Did you thought? Closing in on the axis. Slide in. Am I playing music? <laughs> Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Uploading virus liberator. Just if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You can help or not. Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take I'm a look. We're now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote-unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. The Liberator virus. Oh. Shit. That's Adam Smasher. <gasps> oh. Oh shit. Before he was like a super tank. What the fuck? Murphy. Whoa, that's so cool. That's so, that's amazing. You get to see Adam Smasher like fucking 40 years ago. Let me on! He looks kind of normal there. Jesus, what the fuck? He's been part of Arasaka for a long time. Told you, Johnny boy. 
Told you I'd end you someday. Not how I thought that was going to play out. Hi, mother, I'm still alive. I've got it. I'm going to go. Let us try once more. Oh man, you okay. associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Good cop over there, a chance to say something? Come on. Oh, my arm's fine. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <laughs> Boss, don't look too pleased with your efforts. The Emperor. He looks fucking cool. So he'd be like 110 ish around this time. Oh, damn. Done and gone. Wow. My husband died in that tower. Fate's worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yona Koto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you wreak. Shitowa Uso Tsuki Jibunji Shingwazam. だが、シャワチが。シャワユーベンだが、彼らは決して嘘をつかない。死者の言葉には、つつましさがある。始めろ。Soul killer? Mincing engram transfer. Did they put Johnny on the relic? Oh, no. So did, did they put Johnny on the relic? Which means Jackie can't fit. <laughs> Damn it. Is that what they did? Playing for time. What the fuck is going on? Why? What's the motivation for Saburo transferring Johnny of all people? Tap stranger. Wake the fuck up, samurai. And you? Who are you? I'm rebooting. I wouldn't have expected the relic stuff to be way back in 2023, but maybe they just put him on a little hard drive or something until they had the technology like actually like accessible. But it seems that they've saved Johnny Boy to a hard drive because the engram transfer thing is what the relic does. Jesus. I literally got buried underneath the trash. Fuck. 
So there's no uh, Keanu Reeves dropping down and saying, wake the fuck up. decks here. Ugh, heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure... Okay. Well, we're not getting revenge later. あらさかさま、お父様の殺害犯を見つけました。この女で間違いありません。はい。一時間後には着くかと。はい。おお、オッケー。それタカマラ、トラックスダウンアンフォースデックスとディグアスアップ。アンキルデム。I really thought that we were gonna like eventually get revenge on Dex because he like managed to escape. And nothing is playing out how I thought it would at all. Except for the Jackie thing, sadly. You smell like shit. Fuck. This like visual glitching effect is so cool. You hear me? I need your help. Huh? But how long was I out? On the world? Oh. What is going on? Oh! Now give me a gun. My God, <laughs> Jesus! Thank you. All right, let's get to work. What am I doing right now? Whenever um, combat starts in a vehicle, it always glitches out a little bit. Can you just go down, please? Can you just go down, please? Are they invincible? I guess only shoot at the bike. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Shooting at them did nothing. Why are we so far out of town? This gun's a piece of shit. Holy fuck, I'm just, I'm straight up gonna die. <laughs> Thank you. Dude. I'm trying, bud. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He has too much health. I'm sorry. Get him off of this car. I'm glitching all over the place. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude. My character just keeps like snapping in different places. Very disorienting. We'll just chalk that up to uh, the fact that I just woke up from a heavily glitched death. I just rebooted. I'm snapping all over the place. So Terminator. Don't you dare faint again. Whoa, my Keep dude. your eyes open. Fuck. Oh, that's what we said to Jackie. <laughs> We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? 
I've seen them before. Troy. The exterminators. We must get to Ripadok. Quickly. Exterminators. Did well back there. Do not waste time. Victor. Who fix us up? We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right. All right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Vex. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! I thought I was out of the service the area. personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. Huh. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. to defend the well-being of my family and my employees. That is why I have decided to double the amount of our active Night City security forces. President Myers has called this a breach in the Army Accord, provocation targeted at the NUSA and Militech. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. How you feeling? 1977. I'm back, baby. Fuck. I don't know, Vic. My ears are ringing. And then I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic, and I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, I, I promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. So that was us. Okay, so that was V experiencing that memory, that situation. Yeah, fuck. They put Johnny Silverhand in the relic, which means there's no space for Jackie to be in there. 
And obviously, I think you have to. It looks like you have to go through a proper process. You don't just put it in and it copies you. Ah, uh, man. Night City looked different, strange, and I, I hated it. Hated everybody, every inch. It was too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. As a personality construct on that shard, dreams you had were from his past. Jesus. So that's how the character of Johnny Silverhand comes into play. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now. That's right, Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Yeah, like fucking 54 years ago, dude. That's so wild. Talk to me. given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V, it's important you get all this. So he'd like take over my consciousness and then become V? Is that what's, oh, wow, v. okay. This is not an angle that I thought was happening. And this is this is great because it's so unexpected, but at the same time it's fucked. So did Arasaka always know that the relic was gonna like go crazy if it was inserted into someone, it would like take Talk over their consciousness? Is that so that's so strange. Or was it being like sold as a as a weapon? I don't even know now. Can't wait to find out. You'll fix me up, right, Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? You know me, baby. Don't omit a thing. Not one deep. Okay, there was, is, a construct, a psyche on the chip, that of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter Deshaun. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. <laughs> so I'm Frankenstein. Great. Actually, that's... V? Uh, I'm going to avoid the Frankenstein's monster joke. You are Dr. Victor, and I'm your monster. Hmm. <laughs> Got it right. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? No, oh, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. 
It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Was that a plan for a relic or I guess maybe it's different. Maybe the relic doesn't work as intended. If it's like, hey man, if you... It, or... Oh. Because like what you could do is... Let's say like you do the relic, you copy your own consciousness onto a shard, and then if you die, the shard brings you back to life. But if it's like the shard of another person, then that's what happens, I suppose. Fuck. I remember this thing saw it on TV. Oh, it was a stupid slogan. Soul something. Secure your soul. Yeah. That's right. It. Fuck yeah. It's just yeah. supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Yeah, like the secure your soul thing, so you save yourself to a chip. But then if it's a different personality, then this happens. Talk right, that me. makes sense. Can't we just take the chip out or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. That's also keeping me alive. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty. Damn. The voice acting is incredible. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Wow. That was an impressive sequence. The heist to the interlude to resurrection. And then he died. I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death, the inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Ma'am. Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Make me small, make me big. And they're really selling the mood out here too. I really hope that we can go through Night City on the outside, like just walk the streets while it's like raining. It's so moody. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for. How to just stick a gun in my mouth. Pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? Ooh, all right. We're in for a heavy and emotional storyline involving our own death and a potential takeover by another person who can't even help the takeover. This is going to be bizarre. Gotta lie down. I'm very excited. But also, huh? Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky <laughs> charm? A bullet. 
Damn. Sure. Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Didn't you hear? My condition's terminal. What good can this do? Don't be silly. As long as you're alive, there's hope. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Really think I can make it? Survive this? Of course you can. I mean, you did already die and come back once, didn't you? Missy, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? Oh man, all of these. He talked about you, like, lots. We got into a fight, right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. This is depressing. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, I don't think the heist could have gone any worse. Yeah, one hell of a memento, huh? There, a lot has just happened. This is a lot to mentally process and take in. There's a Keanu Reeves in my brain. Worse things could happen. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Okay. So we're also gonna hallucinate him in our world. Okay, that's what makes sense with like the him appearing in front of V in the trailer there. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Oh, what the fuck? He's just, we're just haunted by the dark side of Keanu Reeves. He's like, I need a smoke. <laughs> Give your holographic friend a cigarette, damn it. What in the world? Wake the fuck up, samurai. We got a cigarette to smoke. this work? I just hallucinate him now. Where did you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joint toy are you supposed to be? <laughs> Fucking ghost off! Great. Now I'm just actually going crazy too because... I probably am the only one, I would be the only one that can see him, so I'd just be talking to myself all the time. People are like, who are you talking to? I'd be like, no one, just the Keanu Reeves in my head. Keanu, I hope you're going to get comfortable potentially owning a pair of tits one day. <laughs> ah! Keanu jump scare. Who you work for, start talking. How does that work? Fuck. Oh. I can control him. Fucking chip. I'll punch himself. <laughs> Rip the thing out myself. No way. There's no fucking breaks on this story, dude. Holy shit. Control. I'll find a way. You hear me? Damn. Give me those fucking pills. I gotta put this bad boy away.
Yeah, Jesus, get the fuck out of my head. That's crazy, because he can, so I can like, we're like both moving simultaneously and then he's like in my head, forcing me to knock myself out. See you never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. He can physically interact with me. How does that work? Our minds touch him. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Oh, that's a good point. Leave me alone! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Led to the head, only thing that will fix this. Hear me, bitch! A bullet to the fucking brain! That's horrifying. I thought we were going to be best friends, brothers in arms, when I saw Keanu Reeves tell me to wake up. But no! The bastard's trying to steal my brain! If I didn't have the censorship on, would I just have my junk out right now? I'm missing out on a preem cyberpunk experience by having to post it on YouTube. <laughs> Act two, okay. Damn. That's one hell of a first act, let me tell you. Jesus. Right. Uh, act one complete. We are now into the second act of the story where my blood is just stuck onto the window there and it's a brand new bright beautiful day in night city we've got some stuff to do and uh, i guess we will figure out our next moves next time thank you so much for joining me for this episode of cyberpunk i do not want to put this game down because it's like that's just it. the opening has been incredible and it's so exciting because now we're past this trailer we've gotten the lid blown wide open about what's actually going on. Keanu Reeves' character is so fascinating to me, but like, terrifying now because we're gonna die unless we can figure something out. Honestly exhilarating. This episode was just packed with so much stuff. I am having a blast. I cannot wait to continue playing the game. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, we've got something really, really cool. Uh, waiting for us to just experience together. So I hope you guys stick around for this playthrough because I can tell it's going to be something amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.